My name is Zeb Winslow. Uh, we farm in Scotlandek, North Carolina. We've got about 800 total acres, uh, cotton, corn, soybeans, and small grain. And I'm using uh, quick roots on corn and cotton this year. It was an offer that was extended to me from my rep locally and honestly to see if there was a fit for it on my farm, to see if I could see the response that I'd heard others had had. I'm not necessarily a skeptic, uh, but I want to see it work. I want to see it work and I want to see what it's going to do on my land. Uh, a lot of what we have to base our decisions on are plots and trials that are done somewhere else uh, or on someone else's land, maybe somewhere halfway across the country. I really welcome the chance to have it here. For me, it's, a, it's a great to have somebody like Zeb in, in their operation doing trials such as this because it, it gives us a chance to work together throughout the season. Uh, it gives me a chance to get out and see some of the products and how it might um, be different in, in different growing seasons. It's a great partnership. The product's fairly new to us over here, so um, it's great to see how it responds in different environments. To be able to have reps like Greg and like the rest of the Monsanto team that I deal with, uh, it really is it's a value to me because over time they get to know me, they get to know my land, and actually will be able to make recommendations that's based on what's going on on my farm, not just in this area. As far as the quick roots, my thoughts in looking at it this year uh, is just to see if we can translate that into a little more profit uh, and to see if we can try to boost the, the biological activity in the soils that's going on down there with my roots. Soil biology is important. There's a movement that's kind of getting behind that and I wanted to see if the yield bumps that were being seen from quick roots in conventional tillage land would be seen in on my no-till cover crop land as well. As far as the soil microbes and how the, the soil biology and that whole environment that's happening underneath my crop works, uh, that's very important to us. I mean, that's one of the reasons that we've pushed towards no-till and that we're doing the cover crops that we're doing now is to try to stimulate some of that and hopefully the quick roots will work hand in hand with that. I think it's probably maybe the next frontier that we're gonna look at as far as what we're able to do to try to push our yields and push our profitability more important. It's kind of the standpoint that I'm coming to now. Yields are important, but yield without profit, you know, is just a number. <laughs>